Hi, I'm Brie with Lamelaine, and today I'm going to show you what gear to bring on your snowshoeing trip. So first, let's talk about clothes. One rule we have is don't wear cotton. So cotton keeps water really close to your skin and doesn't evaporate very well. So it puts you at greater risk for hypothermia. So aim for man-made materials like polyester, nylon, and spandex. The next thing to keep in mind is when we think of snow, we think of really bundling up, right? With the big parkas, the snow pants, and snow boots. That's not necessary when you go snowshoeing. It's like when you go for a walk, after a while you start to warm up. And so those that big parka, big snow pants, you're going to want to get rid of those. So instead, we'll stick to basic layers. Your first layer will be your base layer. So something thin, close to your skin. Um, so like my thin shirt I have right here, and maybe a base layer underneath your pants, just to keep you warm. The next layer is going to be your warm and cozy layer. So I've got like a fleece sweatshirt here. Um, so that way it'll keep me warm if that wind picks up when you're out on the snow. The last layer on top is going to be your waterproof layer. So like a windbreaker or even just a packable water resistant jacket is going to work great to keep that water away from you. Um, make sure your pants are also water resistant as well to keep those water off your legs. Don't forget to protect your extremities. So bring yourself a hat to protect your head and ears from the cold. And also bring some gloves as well to protect your fingers. Even some thinner running gloves work well for that. I always recommend bringing extras as well. So extra socks, extra gloves. So that way if your primary pair gets wet, you have another pair you can change into that keeps you comfortable. Next, let's talk about shoes. You don't need big snow boots to go snowshoeing. Just as long as your shoes are water resistant, that's all you're looking for. So even a simple waterproof hiking boot is going to work just great for your snowshoes. Now let's look at our pack. The most important thing you're going to need is water. So even if it's just in a Nalgene bottle like this one, um, you want to bring about a liter for every hour of activity. Make sure you also bring safety protection for yourself. So if you're all going on one of our day trips, make sure you bring sun protection, such as sunglasses, sunscreen, because the sun rays reflect off the snow and onto your skin and put you at risk for sunburn. If you're going on one of our night trips, bring a headlamp. Headlamps provide light without, you know, having to use your hands. And so this will help us when we're out in the dark. Lastly, bring yourself some easily accessible snacks. We'll be stopping along the way and taking a break, and these snacks will keep you going throughout the entire trip. Now you're ready for your next snowshoeing adventure.